1700 by unknown writers with the popular tunes inspired by the Bible. And one of the first songs, most people, in fact, I asked uh, uh, what would, would be people most say is the first Christmas song, they would probably say Silent Night. But actually, one of the first Christmas songs was What a Child Is This? And believe it or not, if you don't know what that is, that actually turned into a song called Green Sleeves, which I'll play for you in a little while. Major songs that emerged from church, like Silent Night, and that was 1863, and O Holy Night, which came out around 1855. I think I was born, I think, at that time, at 18. No, I wasn't, okay. Uh, as decades rolled down, many, many holiday songs came along and, and continued to grow. New songs from different artists came out as, they, as time progressed. In fact, I'm going to play a very new song next week for you that's one of the most popular Christmas songs. Uh, and that's, that show is going to be at 2.30, no, 3.30 on Monday. So look it up. Uh, it's going to be a special show, Christmas show that I'm doing at 3.30 next Monday. And I'm going to play really the most popular Christmas song right now. And, and it is a great hit. But first, let's get started with a, a couple of with a song and I'm going to play on the uh, Freedom 3 and I'm going to do a gospel version. <laughs> I always am crazy. I don't do the regular thing and I'm using gospel and I'm going to play just as kind of just to kick things off. So uh, kind of crazy. <laughs> Okay, that was kind of a little quiet on that, and I apologize for that. We're trying to get our sound system together. Uh, so that was on the Freedom 3, and what I used was the Gospel at about 120. That normally comes in, if you push that Gospel, it comes in about 98. So I kind of speeded it up just a little bit for it. And a little different version of a song called uh, Jingle Bells. Now I'm going to come over to our, our, uh, our Easy One. And, uh, and it actually is the easy one, and it is, I hope we can get the camera, okay. We've got, 
she's showing my best side right now, which is my rear end. Oh, wait a minute. No. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Are we okay? All right. All right. Now, in, understand that when we have the single keyboard, that it's divided up from the center, which is from B down for chords. From C up is your melody. So always remember that's where the dividing line. Some of them you can change so that you can increase the chord area or, or getting more melody notes. Well, I'm not going to do that. Now, normally, uh, this is an instrument for those that have never played before or maybe had some piano and uh, want to start again. And again, we have a chord system. This, again, for those of you that have been playing a while, might be uh, something redundant. We have the red indicating C. We have blue indicating for F and G. Now, these are called a chord. What's a chord? Something you plug in the wall? No, a chord is a group of three notes. It has to have three notes to be a chord. If it has two notes, it's called a duet, a, a duet, excuse me, a duet, is a duet. Now, how it works for chords, and forget about all the minors, majors, and all the other stuff, a chord is every other note of the alphabet. It's very simple every other note so if i remember we only have seven letters a b c d e f g and it's redundant it repeats so if i have c and i want to find out what would be the other note of the chord i skip a letter i skip d so the next note in the c chord would be e and then i skip a letter and it would be g now in the old days of playing piano you had to play all those three notes now what about f f Let's play an F chord. F, skip a letter, is G, so I would play F and A, skip B, and I would play C, every other letter. So that's the F chord, F, A, C. Let's go on G. G, skip a letter. Remember, after G, we, we don't have an H. We have an A, so we skip A. The next one would be B. We skip a letter, C, and we play. So a G chord is G. B, D. An F chord is F, A, C. C chord is C, E, G. Now, in, in playing piano, I hear this all the time. I want to learn to play the piano. Well, they got to play all these notes. They got to play all these notes. You don't have to do it. Just touch the letter C. And guess what? It's doing that C chord. Not only is it doing the C chord, plays it in the way it should be played correctly on the instrument. So if I play C, it's playing C, E, G, but maybe in a different order. It's actually playing G, C, E. You don't have to learn that. If I want an F chord, if that's three notes, all I do is play F. Simple. If I play G, G, and back. Now, I had a, a lady I gave a lesson to last week. She was having a problem of keeping her hand. So we put a card over here, and even that was confusing. For those of you that have a real problem of keeping your hand on this, move it to the end of the keyboard. See, there's a wood over here, if you can maybe see that. Can you see that down there? This one is C. In fact, you can buy these little stickers. And my lady put the red sticker here, a blue sticker here, and a green sticker here. So her hand, could not go because if she went further down, she was playing the wood, and we don't have a wood note. Okay, maybe we could, but we don't. So you see that C, and here's C up here, same. Here's F, here's F, and here's G. Now this is for those that are having the problem keeping their hand there. That is cool. Now, any single keyboard, you can do that. Remember, it's a single keyboard, including the, uh, the piano even, you can do that. We have a, a, a digital piano. You can move your hand all the way down. Now, why am I bringing this up? Because a lot of the Christmas songs, you don't add rhythm because a lot of times the standard, what we call standard songs, Silent Night, Joy to the World, Deck the Halls, all of those are okay, but you can play them very simple 
by using the chord method. So here would be Silent Night. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hit, uh, oh, let's see, let's play it with piano, maybe organ. I put on the organ sound over here. And I'm going to play the chord, and I can play the chord here. I can play the chord down here, or F down here. I think I know where uh, a C is, so I don't think I have to move my hand. But if you have a problem, it's pretty good over there. So here's Silent Night. And for those of you that want to play a nice Christmas song, this is very simple. Just hit the chord, play the melody note, and... Uh, uh, we have copies. I think you, all of you should have a copy of Silent Night. Um, again, um, we, I don't have any printed materials of that because we've done it before. So here is Silent Night played on the, the easy one, as simple as you could be, and I think it sounds pretty good. I'm just going to start with the chord and back to C and add the melody now. change the sound to string if I wanted to I could change the sound to piano and believe it or not in the easy series there's a bell called crystal bell it actually is pretty nice to set that up and if uh, it's in the more section So if you want to play a nice Christmas song, put the bells on. Isn't that cool? Now that's about as simple as you can be to have a nice song. Now, what's the next thing when I move up to some of the little larger instruments after this, uh, we have something called the transposer. And I will tell you this, if you have the transposer, use it for Christmas songs. Why? Because many of the Christmas songs are way too high. And if you had to sing it, way up there, you know, you have to, I'm going to hurt myself trying to sing it. So I don't want to do that. So I want to lower, I want to lower the pitch. So get it down to here so you can sing it like a man. So you can have fun with it. So lower it down a couple of steps, you know, hit the transposer down, down, maybe three times, two times, four times, depending on, and you'll find out it will sound a lot. Now you can't do that on the single keyboards. So on the double keyboards, you can. Now I'm going to play one other song on the, um, on the uh, on the instrument here, and this is pretty cool because I can add um, the Latin beat. This time I'm going to do it just for the heck of having you hear the the Latin music on here. And I'm going to play "Joy to the World." Now, what's really cool about this number? I never knew this. I learned scale. Scale was something you went up and down the keyboard. And remember, it sound familiar, everybody? Up and down. Now, believe it or not, joy to the world is the scale going down. Unbelievable. So I'm going to have fun with this. Last number I'm going to do on the single keyboard, I'm going to do it in a Latin version just to have it more fun. So I have the introduction. All I did was push Latin. And I'm going to hit the C button here. And joy to the world.
Well, I hope you like that. There was nothing fancy that I did with that. I put the Latin beat on. I did intro. I used this setup that was done exactly for me. The only thing I did is I put in the fills. The fill means that whenever there was a long break, I can touch the fill and add it. Okay, I just want to stop right there on this. If we have some questions, or I hope you enjoy that, a very simple way of learning how to play on the single keyboard. Any questions? Oh, good. I'm glad. Oh, oh, thank God. You people are very good. You people are really good. I hope you enjoy that. Now, remember, the single keyboard, as you get to play better, your hands start to get further and further apart. So I'm a, really an advocate of the double keyboard because you start to bring your hands in a little closer and it becomes a way of you playing actually a lot easier than playing on the double keyboard, I mean the single keyboard. As you get better, you're playing it like a piano the further you get apart. So I'm gonna come over now to uh, what I have available here is the Freedom 3, which I think is really an unbelievable instrument. Okay, so I'm gonna slide over here. And with the, with the Freedom, three uh, we end up having more orchestras and we have a double keyboard so instead of my hand being all the way over here i can bring my hand up closer together so the music and my hands become a nice even way of playing so i'm going to play uh, what child is this and i'm going to add the guitar waltz on this and it really is beautiful. This is green sleeve, so you understand. And I, I've, got a, I've got this, and I want you to hear this, this introduction on this. And it really is sweet. Sounds like the old minstrel days. Isn't that a nice version on that? That's the guitar in the country in three quarters. Kind of, so if you have that, try that with green sleeves. 
Some people only have the copy of it in green sleeves, but it is called the original title was What Child Is This? And that's an old English air song, they call it. And it was actually written in the 1700s. So I thought you'd get a kick out of that one for you. Now I'm going to go back and do some things on here that's really, really cool. Because, uh, again, doing some Christmas songs, I have uh, something in the Broadway. It's called Showtime. And, boy, because this, for some reason, is, uh, is it loud enough for everybody right now? Is it okay? Okay, good. Am I loud enough for everybody? Okay, I'm very loud. Always loud. Okay, all right. <laughs> What an instrument. What an instrument. I just had some fun playing and picking some other sounds. Now, that's the only thing is you got to remember when you have uh, a auto setup. I just want to explain this. Auto setup picks one sound that matches your song. Okay. So if I go and I scroll to a song, it's going to set up a nice setting for me for a song. But afterwards, I have to then pick and poke to find some other sound that will go with it. So that's the, that's the only thing that with the freedom is you have to always remember that it picks one sound. You don't have to touch anything else, and it gives you quite a nice sound. Now, with it, which is really, really cool, I wish we had this on some other ones. We have a songbook, and in this songbook, we have 30 songs that you could play and are also recorded for you. So this is pretty cool. So in it, actually, we do have a couple of Christmas songs in here. Uh, we have uh, Jingle Bells. We have Amazing Grace, which is just gorgeous. And we have Silent Night, okay? And then what that means is if I come over here to songs, watch this, here's Jingle Bells. And they did this Jingle Bells in a rock beat for you. Pretty cool. And I can shut off the melody so I can play along with it. Uh, 
I'm going to put back the melody. What fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Guess what else you could do? You could sing along with it if you don't want to have them play the melody. That's pretty cool. What do you think of that? That is quite good. Talk about a nice way of, of having some fun with Christmas music with the family, um, taking off the melody, and then you can sing the songs or you can play it along with them. And they have, like I said, three nice little Christmas songs built into that automatically. So it's pretty cool. One of the nicest things I, I love about the freedom. Incidentally, I'm going to be doing a special on this, and I think in a couple days, and I'm going to be playing three special numbers on the Freedom 3 for you. Uh, so be ready for that. That's on, uh, I think, Thursday, I think. Thursday, I think. So, or, yeah, I think it's Thursday. The 11th. The 11th, I think it is. No, the 10th? The 10th. It's on the 10th. So check that out, okay? So now the last, any, first of all, any other questions about something that I've showed? Any questions on anybody that uh, wants me to review something with you? No? Okay. I, 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 okay. All right, good. All right. So that's a kind of a, an update about what's going on. I'm not wearing my mask because we were going to have a guest here, but we didn't have it here come in. So I'm going to flip over. Well, actually, I'm going to slide over because if I flip over, I won't get up. So, uh, hmm? okay. Now, if you remember what I had said earlier, um, is that I was playing on the Freedom. The, it's a great instrument, but after I pick, after I pick a a, a, a setup, the I have to go and find another type of of setting that's going to go with the with the song. So it always is a problem. So that I can't, uh, I can't, uh, I have to pick and poke. Now, what makes the the uh, easy ten, which is the last one I'm going to show you, they have something on here that gives you a little more help with the keyboard. You can see that right now; it lights up for you, so that you have a chance to at least see the notes as you are playing them. Remember, as music goes up in the music, it goes to the right. When music is written and goes down, you're going to go to the left. Sharps go up, which means you're going to go up to a black note. Or flats, you go down to the next note. Okay? Now, we always have something missing between E and F. There's no black note. And between B and C. I don't know why they did that. I keep saying they should have put a note there. would have made it much easier. And they could have put a note between E and F. And we never would have to worry about what's between there at all. Okay? So that's just me. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to play an all-time favorite. And I'm going to do it by using all of the setups. Because now I don't have to guess what is going to, I'm going to pick because I have choices. I've got one. This one is piano. This one is guitar. This one is organ. This one is a marimba. And the last one is brass. And the song I'm going to do this with is a nice song in Latin with the piano. I have three choices. And believe it or not, I'm going to do White Christmas for you. So, But I'm going to use all of the original settings that are in here without having me to touch anything else. And I really think it's very, very beautiful to do. And uh, so listen to the introduction. Whoop, wait a minute. Got to do something here.
right? Can we hear me now? Thank you. I hope you all can see me a little bit. Uh, there I am. Okay. Uh, so just review what I just did. Okay. I set up the Latin. I put on the piano for my performer. And that was basically it. And then I style set up, which means the more I have of these presets in the middle of the instrument, the more changes that I can do. So in this case here, I had, I had one gave me piano with vibes. Number two gave me my guitar and flute. Number three gave me the organ and an electronic piano. Number four gave me marimba and I didn't use the steel drums, I could have. And then we have the brass and the trumpet, which is just gorgeous. 
It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous setting is there. So without me having to say, how am I going to figure out or use any of the other buttons? All I did was use the 10 setups. And now when I say 10, because remember, there's five, but each one gives me two. So one on the upper keyboard and one on the bottom. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten different sounds that I don't have to figure out where they're coming from. So as they are and in the window, what we call our, our teacher, it will tell you the brass here in the number one gives me the society piano, which is very nice. And then on bottom is saxophone. And then number two, it gave me the nylon guitar, which is the classical guitar. with the flute on the bottom. And then number three gave me the organ. And that's a slow sound. Listen to it. This would be good for uh, uh, Amazing Grace. But now we have a way of speeding up that sound. So listen to what happens. There's something called a tremolo fast and slow. So if I don't like that organ slow, I can add the tremolo and make it faster. But there is also a very beautiful, beautiful electronic piano on the bottom. So and then number four is the marimba and steel drums. And number five, it gave me the brass sound and the trumpet. Now, that's just what the Latin Latin beat. So I hope you like that. That's kind of a, a fun, fun, fun one that, that I do on that one. So um, I'm going to kind of finish up with a, with, a, with a kind of a fun one because we have something called Broadway on here, and it has the big show of Broadway. Um, but if honest, check if there's any questions and anybody who uh, has uh, anything on their mind. I hope you're enjoying this. This is kind of a neat to cover the easy series, the Freedom 3, the easy 10 and give you some of the I think the coolest pointers of each one of them what makes the 10 a, a really unique is because you ha have more setups when what makes the freedom three unique is you have a way of playing and have the song played for you and then you can take out the melody and play along with it the single keyboard is really great for those that are getting started and that is because you have a very simple chord and you can make play a lot of the songs without rhythm with that. So again, I hope you enjoy that. Any, we have Dorothy has a question. Hi, Dorothy. Hi. Um, uh, you mentioned playing Christmas carols with um, transposing on them. Could mm -hmm. you just review on that easy 10 how to do the transpose? You go to features and then you can scroll to the word called transpose. It says transpose on it, and then you select it. And when you select, so you heal features, scroll to when it says transpose. Okay. And then it'll show C. And if you hit the scroll thing going up, it'll make it higher. If you hit the scroll going down, it'll show you going down. In this case here, I can now transpose that down to A flat. So right. again, I can control that by, but I have to go through features when you get to transpose, select it, and then scroll up or down. Thank okay, you very much. Should yep. I do it one more time? Thanks. Okay, you, you, you go through, you fa find features, and you scroll until you get to the word that says transpose. I got it. Okay, and then once you get there, you select it. You gotta select it because you're telling the computer, I wanna transpose. And then you scroll up, or down, and in this case, I'm just going to scroll down because I want to make the song a little bit easier to sing. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Can you take out the melody when you take out a song? Well, uh, no. To answer your question, no. You can change it. The you can change the sound, but you can't. But and play along with it. 
okay? But you can't take the melody out. You can change it, okay? Make, in other words, change the sounds. Do you understand that? Okay. All right. And yeah, good questions. I love good questions. Okay. Okay. Very good. Incidentally, everybody, I hope you're staying healthy. Uh, we're being very careful here in our in our store. Uh, we're always cleaning and making sure everything. We only allow a certain number of people. We always wear the mask. I'm not wearing one right now, uh, obviously, but uh, we always do. So please, if you are near our store, do come in for a help session. Come in for a one one on one. Uh, and also, uh, Joni's doing some great Zoom classes for some of the people that don't come in. So keep that in mind. I, I hope you've enjoyed this. I've had so much fun. I, 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 I work day and night. I was up all night on, and getting this ready for you guys. I mean, I just lost all kind of sleep uh, just thinking about this. I wanted this to be so good for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm going to finish up uh, with the, uh, the Broadway. And uh, this is kind of a kind of a, I don't even know, once I get started, I do strange things with this, so, um, so here we go. And again, watch that, I'm gonna use some of these presets in here. Thank you thank you kind of a fun ending on that i played a little bit of santa claus coming to town and winter wonderland so again thank you all if you have any questions uh you have our emails i'm sure you do and also contact us uh and uh, do do say some comments on it we always are open for suggestions and we have a great great week of christmas songs for you i'm going to turn this back to uh uh, don't have to, oh, we don't have our celebrity here. So what I want to tell you is please make sure you have 
all of the connections for the Zoom concerts and workshops that we have in the next, I think, seven days. We are just packed with websites. Go to the website. We have Joni Monero, we have Carrie, we have Dawn, uh, we have Jerome, we have all of them doing things specially for you for the holidays. So again, have a good holiday and a safe one, and God bless you all. Thanks.